Um, let's maybe start with this one since it's kind of not in the midst of everything. <laughs> hopefully be a little easier to handle. I'm on fire. Oh my gosh. These guys have s scary helmets. My strategy is working so far because all I do is stand back and watch. Let me do all the work. Oh my gosh. So the archers shoot you with arrows that do like slowness 10 or something. You can you can just barely move. Mm. So I would say do, do not get hit by the arrows. Solid life advice. There's carrots if you want any carrots. And there's something down here. This looks a little sketchy to me. Who has a just like a little little bed down in the basement? That's weird. Um I mean, why not? It's Cause if the basement floods, you're gonna creepy. drown. The creepy basement where they store the evil twin. There's some good armor the here. Good twin gets to sleep over here. I'm gonna take the boots if you wanna take the chest piece. Dokey. Um, it actually reminds me there was this beach house that my parents used to rent. Actually, it was my grandma who rented it, like for the whole family. But it had like this little like cubby, like built into the side of the wall that had like this bunk bed built into. I don't know. My brothers and I, we absolutely loved it, even though it was like in the middle of the living room. It was really weird. No, like I used to really love sleeping in like weird locations like i would build like forts under the dining room table and sleep under it yeah i um, can uh i don't know why like yeah i don't know like there's there there's something cozy about it yeah i used to sleep in the shower oh well yeah i still do that sometimes even though it's super bad Again, i there's... hear you being evil there's some more stuff here if you want it. Some arrows and a sword. Mm. Oh, there's those evil... Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. There's a bunch of spiders downstairs. A weird place for some spawners, though. It's it, There's just a couple of spawners and that was it. So is there a story behind your name, Viable Canvas? Uh, yeah, it's a really interesting story, actually. Um, I went to randomwordgenerator.com <laughs> and said, give me two random words, and they gave me that. Oh, there's somebody that spawned up here. I kind of remember you telling me that once before. <laughs> That's how I get all my usernames. I don't know where this guy came from. Huh. I swear he's like throwing cookies at us. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, um... Oh. I died. That's yes, okay. yes, back. you did. Oh, no, I forget that we have keep inventory on, so I don't need to panic about things. Yeah, you don't have to worry about me. I never did. You put did, me on baby so, mode. You know. We're good. Um, do you know the name behind my? Or the, do you know the name behind my story? No, the story behind my name. Um, is it like the novel? Yeah. That's when yeah. I was still in the literature. <laughs> Jude, right? Yeah, Jude the Obscure. No more, though. I hate literature now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <clears throat> you're not, though. Okay. That's the thing. You say you're kidding, but... I think I just shot you. Oh, don't do it, Mr. Archer. Why am I on fire? Where's your fire extinguisher at? 
Put me out. You didn't give me one of those. You know, there aren't fire extinguishers in the game, but I know that some maps have, like, special potions that put you out that are even called fire extinguishers. Oops. Okay, that's right. Okay, I'm going to go up because it looks uh, like we're supposed to go up here. There's a chest. There's gold. Would you like gold for... That doesn't seem at all useful given the circumstances. You can... A shimmer axe. Ooh, fancy. We can actually make golden carrots and golden apples. Oh. And, uh, and gold pickaxes. That seems... What, what good does gold-plated food do? It's kind of like, you know how they put, like, gold stuff, like the gold uh, flakes or whatever on like food? Like gold flakes? Yeah, it's just for decoration. Um, so it's more expensive, but nutritionally completely <laughs> empty. But it looks cool. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. It actually does um, do something in the game. It uh, If you make golden carrots, it gives you high saturation, so it regenerates more health for you. Well, and, there's a lot more gold in a chest over here. And golden apples. Interesting. And golden apples um, give you two extra hearts. Mm. So one thing, these map makers, I think, are, I don't know if they're new or, or if they just kind of forgot stuff, but um, they, they may be watching... For offhand items, it's always good to like put the enchanting effect on them so that the player knows that they're not normal items and knows that there's something special about them. Because it looked like just a piece of gold, but it's actually an item that you can equip. I don't know if you want to use that. Oh. You put it in the little slot where your shield goes. This looks like it's... Okay, I guess this is nothing. Is there anything? It's like a bathtub. Up here, <laughs> a bathtub. What kind of bathtubs and are you getting? Somebody put some candles around. It's like a little uh, hot tub outside. All decorated, nice. Sure. Whatever you say. Getting in some fancy hot tubs, gold-plated hot don't. tubs, and your gold-plated <laughs> food. I'm no. Uh... I'm just calling it like I see it. Oh my gosh, he's throwing cookies at me again. Oh, there's guys coming from down below. So, do these have, like, um, narratives to them at all? Like, that you can kind of piece clues together as you're playing, or what? Um... Usually it's like a paragraph of lore <laughs> and, mm. and it'll be like in a book at the start. I think this one did say something in the map description about having to light these bonfires and we may have missed something early on. I'm not sure. This one is um, like you have different style of maps. So there's linear maps, there's linear branching maps, there's open world maps. This is open world style, which makes it feel like there's less direction given to the player. Ah, ah, ah. Because it very much is an open world and you can kind of pick and choose where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Older style maps were typically linear branching, so there would be like a straight path, but then it would break off into three different paths and then you could like choose. Although usually there was a designated order that you were supposed to go in. Um, right. so some maps have a lot of lore like the map that I just finished playing had like NPCs and you know all, all kinds oh, of stuff, stuff like that yeah and Imagine there, that takes a long time to create. There was a map that I wanted to play with you, but it's too old to work on a realm server. It has like cutscenes. 
That's insane. Yeah, and it's it's a little wonky in Minecraft. Like it looks a little glitchy, but uh, it's certainly if you're looking for a lore, like a story heavy map, that they do exist. There's ones with like side quests or like little NPCs that you have to do like fetch quests for, and um, yeah, there's also a server. A multiplayer server that's very story driven and that would be fun to play on in fact that might have even been a I guess bet. I just always assumed that any kind of storyline that you could get in a game like this would be like role play based like character to character player to player um yeah I mean it's like you you never like take on a persona you play as you or whoever mm -hmm. you want to play as, like, you know, Skyrim or something. <laughs> You're just right. kind of the nameless hero who's there to save the day. This house over here looks important, and there are a lot of spawners that are already going off. Uh, I, I would love to play Monumenta with you, but... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of guys I died again. coming for us. I'll find you. I know your um, sense of direction isn't great. According to you, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not making that comment. I'm just quoting you. <laughs> How dare you! Uh, my only concern with Monumenta, I, I feel like it's too hard for people who are brand new to the genre. I, Not just specifically too hard for me. Who's that? No, no. Like I think it was even too hard for me to some extent. Now it's supposed to be a multiplayer server, so you're supposed to play with friends, and I was doing it all by myself, and that kind of explains why it's so hard. But mm -hmm. I know I when after I played the very first dungeon, I was like, you guys need to really tone down the difficulty because if you're trying to attract new players, they're all gonna just die and quit. And honestly, I kind of feel like I would run away if I were you. Because there's just too I many can't. too many bad guys. Um, I was in a corner. Yeah, I, I feel like it's a problem for most of most of the maps. They're just they're built by veterans, kind of for veterans. And even the maps that are supposed to be like on the easier side for beginning players, I think are just way too difficult. Um Wait. I did. I I like was browsing uh, like just to try to learn more about them, and I saw a couple like Reddit threads that were like, you know, beginner friendly CTMs, and the consensus was there is no such thing. Um, you you just deal with it, and you play until you get good. Yeah, I mean, you could take the kind of Dark Souls philosophy, I suppose, but um, I think most map makers really do want to see the the genre get more attention. Mm -hmm. So I don't think they would be opposed to. I I just yeah, I haven't really seen a good beginner map. I don't think. Um, I I tried to make one, and I think I did a really good job with like the first rule. And maybe the second rule being beginner friendly, and then after that it kind of went downhill. Mm. Uh, but it's 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 not easy to to create a an there's, easy map. There's a bunch of things back here. Oh gosh, there's blaze off in the distance that are shooting at us. Oh, they yeah. they may burn down the house. Which might actually be somewhat of a good thing. I'm on fire. Okay, no, no. I'm trying to think of a good beginner map, though. Um, the couple like responses I saw, um, I know, I know, I'd recognize it if I heard it. Um, I don't remember. It's not coming to me right now. Um... The, uh... 
Oh man, what did I call mine? Mine was like Beginner's Paradise was the name of my map. Mm. I say I would run away because there's a lot of a lot of bad things in there. But I did get some light down, so hopefully that slows stuff down. Go away, fire! You're really annoying. Um, some of the ones that come to mind for me are easy because they are like shorter. The areas are smaller, which make them a little more manageable to some extent, but um, they're a lot older maps too. So like the one that comes to mind for me is one called Minimalist. And as the name suggests, it's just a really kind of straightforward, small map without too many bells and whistles um no confusing mechanics and because like i think that's one of the things for new players is you see some of these areas like this and it's so daunting it's so overwhelming it's even overwhelming for me i see some of these areas that seem just gigantic and then you die 10 times before you even make it 10 feet into the area and you just give up because you think it's going to be impossible. Um, so that's one thing I tried to do in my map was I tried to make it small without too many complicated mechanics and uh, giving the player like lots of strong items early on. But again, I think by the time you get to like the third or fourth area in my map, it's it's quite challenging, and it's not all that well done. Um. <laughs> you can't even justify the challenge. Yeah. Um. Oh my God. Ow. There's like a brewery. It's gonna bother me that I don't remember the name, but I will look it up and tell you at some point. The name of the map? Yeah. I'm sure if you go onto the CTM Discord, they have suggestions for beginner maps. Although, again, in my experience, they're not good for beginners. They just... Se severely seem to underestimate how easy things should be for for beginners. I, you know, I don't know. I think there is a limit to that, and I do kind of buy into the Dark Souls philosophy in that regard. Like, like you can't make it too easy because that kind of defeats the the spirit of the genre. It's supposed to be kind of rom hack hard, you know. At least that's that's the origins of it. I mean, I understand to an extent, but if the way the genre is built is so intentionally difficult that it's exclusionary, like I you mean, know, like Dark Souls, I'm get, I'm gonna get a lot of hate from people in your comments now. I think. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> that's just my outsider opinion. Okay, I think these spiders might be doing a lot of damage. But I, maybe I, my health was already down. I'm not sure. Um, no, I, I, I agree with you. I, again, I think that there should be, you know, degrees of difficulty level. Oh, I died. And you should have hard maps, and but we should have easy maps. And I just feel like the community overall has done a bad job of creating easy maps. Although. I gotta, you know, um, I'm not trying to be like critical of map makers. I think balancing these maps is really, really hard to do. Oh, absolutely. Like, I don't think it's an easy task at all, but I think, you know, when I was, again, in some of those threads that were talking about it, there was a sense of like, well, if these are too hard, then CTM isn't for you in general. And so don't play it, you know? And it's like, that's kind of just gatekeepy for the sake of being gatekeepy. Yeah. No, um, I, I see the same discussion happening in a lot of the dark souls 
mm-hmm. comments and stuff, um, threads. Basically, like, how do I beat this boss? And the comments will just say, get, get good. Get good, yeah. It's Okay, well, but how do I play the game? It's like, I can't get good unless you give me some tips and strategies and, you know, make it a fair learning curve. Right. My armor's about to break on me. I can't seem to make much progress into this room. Die again. Oh my god, did I survive that? I did. There are a lot Look of spawners in here. Yeah, they... I don't know. Oh my gosh. Again, yeah. The spiders in this room do like four hearts of damage per attack. Which is a little excessive. And my helmet broke. I need a new helmet. Ah. 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 Oh, if I die. Um, this one, I would say, again, it's, it's hard to know if we're in the right place. And I'll say for an I mean, we could have followed the sign, but you wanted to go into the neighborhood. So here we are. Well, yeah. Plus it, it was pointing to the lime green area. Yeah. Which, which typically is a later area. Oh, see, you know what, like, that's, there's so many, um, you know, so much shorthand, you know, in, in, or signifiers in these that unless you have somebody to explain it to you, like, how would you even know? Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, that's how genre works, like, don't get me wrong, but. Um. No, no. It's still so niche. And and that's why, like, again, most of the maps earlier in the genre, well, I guess not the very, very, be the very beginning had a lot less direction. <laughs> and, you know, mm -hmm. starting a brand new genre, that's like people have no idea what's going on. Not even the map makers themselves. They're just kind of experimenting. Um, oh, I found another bonfire. So I guess we're in the right place. I'll go ahead and light it. The campfire has been lit. So that's good. Oh my god, these spiders just kept falling and kept eating me. Um, but I'll say, like, as the genre progressed and map makers kind of figured out what they were doing, again, you would find, like, the monument early on. And it, they would have, like, directions, like, go to this place first and this place next. So a lot more mm. lot more guidance for the player. This is an open world map, so again, there's not a lot of direction for the player. And, uh... Oh, interesting. Um, and because it's open world, I find that these are even harder to balance. In terms of difficulty, because you don't know where the player is going to go next, mm -hmm. and so if they decide to take a right turn when they should have taken a left turn, they could end up dying a whole bunch. That's just on them. Yeah, yeah. And, and so if if we do get into that situation where it's like everything is way too difficult, then we can always backtrack and find a different place to go to. A good open world map will kind of, I think, is kind of built in like concentric circles so that even if you mm. go left or right like that both of those areas are going to be roughly the same difficulty level but again that's really hard to pull off i would recommend new map makers to not build open world maps like this because i think they're so much more challenging to do well um so I guess we're technically done with this village area, although there were still more houses to explore for loot. I don't know if you want to do that or you just want to move on. I'm just following your lead. <laughs> okay, I say that we move on then. Okay. 
There's some extra. That's cute. They use spider webs to look like smoke coming out of a chimney. That's adorable. That is. Um, oh no, it's gonna go dark again. I will say one thing that has improved significantly with maps is the aesthetic. Like people have gotten really good at making maps look pretty, which was mm. which was not always the case. A lot of the earlier maps are quite ugly. Well, my maps are quite ugly. <laughs> I, I think I've made three or four maps now. Um, I think my last map, which is that Beginner's Paradise map, actually looked okay. Given that I, how quickly I made it and stuff, and that I'm not all that great with the tools. But my first couple maps were really hideous. Um... But I mean, yeah, like you look around, I, I will say the spikes are a little, coming out of the walls are a little weird looking, but other than that, it's a very pretty map. Let's, I can uh, definitely appreciate, you know, the artistry and the effort. Yeah. yeah you, you know, I don't, but I, don't, I don't have any kind of eye for that necessarily to compare it to, but. I still definitely can see, like, how much effort went into making this look a certain way. Okay, there's, like, arrows down here pointing to a chest, and I kind of want to see what it is. Gosh. What's in the chest back there? It's all bones. Bones? Bones. Oh, there's a good pickaxe in there. You should take that. Um, I want to know why it led us to a box of bones. What does that mean? That somebody died there? That I like map makers do cool things now where like you walk into a room and you'll see like skulls and redstone that's supposed to represent blood. And like you walk into a room and you see that, what do you what can you assume? Or what does it seem to imply? Right. Murder, death, satanic rituals. There are so many options. And, and then, you know what? That's the kind of stuff I'm here for. Well, no. But, so then, like, you... There, there will be, like, a trap in the room. So, like, they've gotten really good at using the environment to kind of, <laughs> to, to kind of tell a story, right? Um, so, but there was this period where we were kind of transitioning from these old ugly maps to these new pretty maps. And I feel like people really kind of prioritized the looks over the actual gameplay. And that was frustrating. I used to kind of complain about it. Like, I don't care if the map looks pretty, if it's, if it's not fun to play, you know, I guess we can head up and over this mountain. So that's kind of where it's porny us. I just don't, yeah, I just kind of thought up, not necessarily forward. Oh. Oh, maybe it is up. You think it's up? Yeah. I guess it is pointing up. And there's this waterfall that you can go up. Look at you. You're so smart. I didn't even see that. I, You know, as I fall out of the waterfall. But yeah, the bubbles should have given it away. Uh. Well, this is a scary place. Because, oh gosh, because we can fall and, and die. Oh, I mean, I've been doing that this whole time anyway. So. Uh, it'll happen a lot more frequently. Nothing new to me. These guys are throwing cookies at us too. Why is everybody throwing cookies? It's like they're trying to kill us with diabetes. <laughs> um, it's a pretty bad way to go, so. Yes, that would be a terrible way to go. I guess we, I guess we just go along the- But so is being stabbed a bunch or <laughs> eaten by spiders, so I mean. Yes. It, I, of, all, of all the what? options in the game, it might actually be the best. Starving to death, drowning. I'd rather die by cookies, I think. Yeah, at least you have fun on the way. 
What what are you dealing with? Uh, archers with poison arrows. Which is really not nice at all. I don't know if you notice how polite I am when I play. Uh, your language, you mean? Yeah, and well, I refer to all the mobs as like Mr. and Mrs. Usually, yeah. usually it's just Mr. because I don't no I don't think there are many Mrs. besides the witch. What on earth? Okay, there's float. That's us. There's floating fish. That seem to be broken. Did you say sexist? Yeah. Well, why? I mean, why? Why is that sexist? <laughs> to assume that the only female monster is a witch. Um. Okay, now you're working. That's just weird. Whoa. Okay. I I don't like this. I'm leaving. There's guys shooting wind at me. Oh, I thought you had died and you just like fell down to the ground. No, I was you just, just dropped dead. Spawn point. Um one thing we could do because fire spread is on, we could just burn all this down. Um I don't think it would help us that much, but you know. No. <laughs> It seems to be our only way forward. Yeah. Um, there's an Leave it to you to be like, you know what we should do? In this really old map, there's this forest. And it was like a legitimate strategy to... To burn things down. These are very large fish. I really hope nobody tries to shoot me off here. Um, oh. oh my god. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I killed him. I don't like you. Um, here's a, a question for you. Oh my gosh. Yes. Ask away. Uh, how do I use my air bows and arrows? Do you have arrows? I have light arrows. I don't think I have regular arrows. Yeah, no, that'll work. Uh, do you just you right click with it in on your when it's equipped? Oh, okay. So it just automatically uses any arrows that I have in my possession. Yes. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> Little tornadoes. We really need better food. Ah! Yeah, they, um. Oh, oh, jeepers. Oh boy. Oh wow, that was a lot all at once. I'm okay. very glad I put this bed here. <laughs> yeah, now that was a smart, smart move there. You can't seem to kill the. The glowing white guys with arrows. Which is really not nice. Oh gosh. I really don't like fighting on the leaves. I like that I keep um, having to retreat and then I leave you there all by your lonesome. <laughs> Okay, well, hopefully you're able to... Um, survive. If you have, uh, I happen think I to... just killed the spawner with oh. those little wind boys. Yeah, I heard that. Very nice. This game is easy. Ah. Okay, I... What is that sound? Those are ghasts. 
They're like, um, flying ghosts, kind of. They sound like, uh, they're supposed to sound like crying babies. Kind they of. sound like, um, kittens? Like kittens? What kind of kittens are you hanging out with? Ones that cry a lot, apparently. Why? What are these chests and these hanging boxes? They're driving me crazy. I must know more. I'm just, I'm trying to get into this thing. I want, I want what's in this. Ah. Yay! Got it? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That did not sound good. Whatever that was. Oh, don't burn down my bridge. No, no. Oh. There's too many of these fishy things. Oh gosh, there's a hole there now. Hmm. Well, I am in a dilly of a pickle. What happened? I got into where this cage was with a crate, but now I cannot leave it without falling to my doom. Um, do you have any blocks? Build a bridge? Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I feel like I keep abandoning you. This time I abandoned you, to be fair. I was going to say, you did You did say that you were going to follow me, so, you know. It's you yeah, not... I got sick of waiting. You not... <laughs> Whoops. You not following me, not me not following you. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah. Well, that worked. Ah, no ah, idea what that ah, does. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Are you fighting the fish and the babies? Oh, no. Uh, I mean, they just knocked me to oblivion. Uh, hi. I feel like these things are preventing us from going across, which means we should be trying to get across. Do you see the ladders here? Mm hmm Whoops. <laughs> Hang on. I hope that thing is targeting. I'll be dead shortly. Targeting you now, yeah. Oh, more fishies. There's a big fish too. So I think we want to head in that direction. <laughs> 